Battery is really matter in our daily life. It's an EV, your smartphone, your laptop, space station, or another thing powered by electricity. Hi, I'm Yi. This summer, I work with Dr. Peng Haoxiao on topic of electrochemical impedance spectroscopy, or simply EIS. What is EIS? This EIS, this, 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 they all EIS. It's just a curve, can have any shape. EIS is like an electrocardiogram of the battery. It can reveal the kinetic information of the battery. From the view of the EIS, the battery is really like a black box. And we really want to know what's inside the black box. So the best way is to shake the box like this. And you can hear the sound and make a guess what's inside the box. A bell, maybe? So the real black box is much more complicated. It can have a baby bell, mommy bell, daddy bell, and all any other objects. So Let's imagine all, each object can only resonance or response to the specific frequency. So, to get a bigger picture, we have to shake the black box on different frequencies. If we shake like this, we can hear the baby bell. If we shake much harder, we can hear the mommy bell. We can shake it much, much harder. Then we can hear the daddy bell. So the real EIS measurement is to apply some input signal. This is like how we shake the box and get the output signal from the black box. It's like the sounds from the black box. We combine them, do the Fourier transform, and get the EIS. What my research about is to design the black box from the bottom-up approach, which gave us a chance to open the black box to an atomistic level. We really focus on the nearest neighbor of each lithium ion. And of course, between the ions, they have interactions. It can either be repulsion, attraction, or any combination of them. Then, it will give us different picture of EIS. This is a real re simulation result. We can find some trend from different interaction intensity. Our final goal is to find an unpack formula, which involved all the parameters we know, like daily interaction, surface barrier, and all other parameters to describe the EIS. Imagine one day you got EIS from the experiment and from our formula you can get some sense of what atomistic level activities involved like the lithium attraction, like the surface charge barrier and all this understanding from atomistic level can help improve batteries in a faster pace in the lab, detect a failure earlier in electrical vehicle to avoid catching fire, even advance the faster charging technology Thank you.